Hi, I'm Janice Barnholtz Province. And I'm Kelly Connell Phillips. And this is a quick video on how to do the agitated saline or bubble study. The following video is an echocardiogram of a heart without contrast. If you notice, the heart is upside down and flipped with the atria on the bottom of the screen and the ventricles on top. Also, the left side of the heart is on the right hand side of the screen and vice versa. A few reasons why we perform bubble studies is to rule out atrial septal or ventricular septal defects. This test might be ordered when a patient is suspected of having a stroke or a TIA. However, if we already knew that they had an unrepaired intracardiac shunt, this would be contraindicated, as well as for pregnant or nursing women. For the procedure, ask the echo tech if the existing IV is adequate. Usually an 18 or 20 gauge IV is used and you will be listening for the echo tech to say, go ahead and inject. And this is how you do it. Here are the steps to perform a bubble study. Verify that you have proper IV access. Please ask the cardiac sonographer if the IV location will work. Explain the procedure to the patient. Clean the IV port with alcohol wipes, scrub the hub for 15 seconds, or if a swab cap is already in place, that will suffice. Get your three-way stopcock and connect it to the already primed extension tubing. Ensure that the toggle is pointed off to the patient. Next, get two 10 ml syringes. One is a saline flush and expel two mLs of saline out of this syringe. Next, get an empty 10 ml syringe and draw in one mL of air. Attach both syringes to the three-way stopcock. Wait for the registered cardiac sonographer to say, begin agitating the saline. Then the RN will agitate the saline solution by closing the valve to the patient's IV and rapidly injecting the solution between the two syringes several times. The fluid is adequately agitated when the solution appears cloudy. The sonographer will say, go ahead and inject. Before injecting, ensure all of the saline is contained in one syringe and communicate that the saline is being injected. Open the valve to the patient's IV and inject the saline solution. Injecting. This process may need to be repeated at least one more time. The registered cardiac sonographer will instruct the patient to valsalva or cough. And as the saline is being injected, this is what it's going to look like on the echo screen. So looking at the bottom left-hand corner of your slide here, you'll see that the air bubbles are being injected, which is the right side of the heart. They go in through the atria and up to the ventricles. As they leave the right ventricles, they'll go through the pulmonary artery to the lungs, where the bubbles are breathed out. What you shouldn't see is what looks like a hornet's nest over there on the right side of your screen, which is the left side of the heart. So since this patient has bubbles on the left side of the heart, they have a positive bubble study. This patient in particular has an atrial septal defect. And there it is one more time. So when you're all done with the procedure, then you want to make sure to document all of the pertinence, including how the patient tolerated the procedure and the amount of saline administered. Thanks for listening.